Brothers and sisters, welcome to the season of creation. Welcome to the Jubilee for the earth. We are making these reflections on a daily basis from 1st September to 4th of October, celebrating the need for the care of creation through the document Laudato Si. Today I would like to offer to you a reading from the paragraph 30. Our world has a grave social debt towards the poor who lack access to drinking water because they are denied the right to a life consistent with their inalienable dignity. Today I realize that we are talking about an important topic for our consideration, water. One of the scarce commodity that is being faced by the world today. There are two or three things that Pope Francis wants to make clear to us in the document Laudato Si as we make a point on water. First and foremost, water is a natural resource and therefore it has to be made available to all and it cannot be pricey. It cannot be owned by one or two people and make a living out of it, make a profit out of it, which is according to Pope Francis, we are simply trying to make use of the natural resources at the expense of the people who cannot afford it. So this is an important aspect. The second important, I, I realized Pope laments in Laudato Si, I read it for you. The exploitation of the planet has already exceeded acceptable limits and we still have not solved the problem of poverty. Why? Because we know that it is not possible to sustain the present level of consumption in developed countries and wealthier sectors of society where the habit of wasting and discarding has reached unprecedented levels. So this is another aspect that we are talking about when we talk about water. That wastage of water, it has reached such an alarming level, we wonder where and how we can come back to the or original level and Pope feels that we are careless about it. We think that there will be enough water. We don't make provision for this. We do not want to save water. So therefore another aspect when we talk about the water. The third aspect that Pope Francis wants to talk about is one particularly serious prob problem is the quality of the water available for the poor. Because poor are marginalized, they don't have enough access to drinking water, leave, leave the rest for the farm or for bath or for other things. They do not even have proper drinking water. And even if they have every day, unsafe water results in many deaths and the spread of water related diseases, including those caused by microorganisms and chemical substances they are on the increase as well. So these are the poor people because they have no access to safe drinking water. They have access to all kinds of water which is not safe. And that is another lament, another concern for the uh, uh, cause of water. Another aspect of uh, water which is very important and Pope Francis points out is the fact that we are not bothered about water the fact that we are not thinking about it, saving it, conserving it, Pope Francis puts it like, this shows that the problem of water is partly an educational and cultural issue. Since there is little awareness of the seriousness of such behavior within a context of great inequality. So another very important perhaps, uh, and I think it is very critical point when Pope makes it, that lack of awareness education, even supported by our cultural practices where we don't treat water well, we don't take care of it. We see in the cities when even in summer time when water levels are so low, some people who can afford simply 
spread water on the roads and elsewhere. We do not care. We do not care that water is already scarce and there are many people who have no access for good water and we show our ignorance about the critical aspect of water itself. Today, we ask you to think about how you treat water, how you make use of water. Have you made any plans to save water, conserve water? Do you think about those people who actually do not have any access to water itself? Can we think about it for a while today? And pray that we all make efforts towards the conservation of water. God bless you today.